Now, pronation in and of itself is not bad. It's the additional pronation that allows the person to drop into that valgus knee position. If a person has an arch problem, if you will, it can sometimes, very simply, if, if we just create cavus, if we just block them and block their medial collapse, we can minimize a lot of the soft tissue related complaints. It's very impressive. You don't have to get fancy. You can use a, a off the shelf materials. You can even go as low tech as using the little medial cookie wedges that are made, that are made out of the felt material. And you can get these incredibly inexpensively and place them on the medial side, just block their pronation, and it's impressive how successful this can be. Now, with pronation problems, what are the things that we actually see? Well, we see the increase with the rotation. We see decreased dorsiflexion with tight Achilles. And we also see that the rear foot, as we start looking at it, the varus starts to increase and contributes to the patellofemoral. Chris Powers has done a lot of work in this area, uh, and this was actually some of uh, his work that he's continued to follow. And one of the key things that Chris and I totally agree on is that it's not necessarily that patella is the problem, it's that the femur underlying is internally rotating going here, and the patella now basically gets forced to a more lateralization position. You can use the expression, it's kind of like the train on the train track. The patella is the train and the track is the femur and what basically happens is the track gets changed.